Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So in my left hand is the Poco F4 GT, and in my right hand is the Xiaomi Mi 12 S Ultra. Okay, so the main difference is that the Poco has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, while the Xiaomi 12 S Ultra has the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So the 8 Plus is supposed to be a small refresher to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, but because we know that the Qualcomm actually switched Foundry from Samsung to TSMC, and uh, they promise faster performance and at the same time, better efficiency. And I think efficiency was one of the major problems that the recent Snapdragons have. So we are pretty excited about this new SoC. And today we are going to do a direct benchmark comparison between these two devices or rather these two SoCs and see how much improvement there is, all right? Okay, so as you see, both devices has 12 gigs of RAM and the POCO has 1080p display. So I've set the Xiaomi to 1080p as well. All right, so let's move on to the benchmarks. The very first one we are going to do is Geekbench 5. And here we can see that uh, the 8 Plus actually improves on single core and multi core. So it's 6% faster for single core and 17% faster for multi core. Next, let's move on to N22 benchmark. Okay, so before we start, take a look at the device information. Uh, Poco F4 on the left, and uh, I mean Poco F4 GT on the left, and uh, Mi 12S Ultra on the right, right? You see all the information here. Okay, so let's start a test. Okay, so that test took about 10 minutes to complete, and you can see that uh, the improvement is about 5%, right? So the 8 Plus Gen 1 is about 5% faster. But I also noticed that the 12S actually uh, stays a little bit cooler during the test compared to the Poco F4 GT, right? So it seems that it is more efficient, but uh, we'll cover that part later on. Our next test will be GFX test, but this one has so many tests, I'll choose uh, three of them, which are more representative. And uh, yeah, let's run these three tests. Okay, here we see that on average, the 8 plus Gen 1 is a little bit faster, maybe 10 to 11% faster. I think that's about right, right? So Qualcomm actually claims about 10% faster GPU performance, and that is actually proved with this test. And next, we'll do a 3D Mark stress test. So this is more meaningful for you if you are a gamer and you worry that the device will throttle and uh, decrease performance uh, when you play the game for a long time, right? So this test will run for about 20 minutes and uh, let's see how the devices do. So we are happy to see that the sustained performance, sustained GPU performance, right, on the 8 Plus Gen 1 is much, much better. Actually, here we see a whopping 60% improvement, right? Okay, so the final FPS on the 8 Plus Gen 1 is about 1900 compared to about uh, 11 to 1200 on the 8 Gen 1. So that's a huge improvement, and I think you will appreciate this improvement if you are a gamer. Our last test will be this uh, CPU stress test. So this will basically stress all eight cores of the CPU, and we'll see how this CPU perform under sustained load, right? So let's start the test. This will last 20 minutes. Okay, the test will last 20 minutes, but five minutes later, we see some significant difference already, right? You see the device on the left, the POCO, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 actually throttles quite a bit, right? Uh, the current performance is about uh, 170,000 uh, GIPS. I don't really know what that stands for, but uh, I think it's just uh, the processing speed, right? But on the right, you see that the 8 Plus Java actually sustains almost double that performance, right? It's close to 300K. And uh, from the graph, it's also easy to see that the device on the left is heavily throttling while the device on the right is uh, still mostly okay, right? It's maintaining about 90% uh, of the peak performance, and which is very nice. Okay, let's continue the test anyway. Okay, 
guys, so that's the end of the 20 minute CPU stress test. And here we see an incredible 97% improvement on the sustained CPU performance. Just look at the mean score, right? It's 145,000 on the left and it's 286,000 on the right. So that is amazing improvement. But I have to point out that uh, MIUI on the POCO it seems uh, to be a little bit unoptimized, while the one on the Xiaomi 12S uh, Ultra is, uh, seems to be better optimized. Nevertheless, this should still give you an idea of uh, how much more efficient the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is compared to the 8 Gen 1, right? And right here, I have conducted some other tests. Especially interesting are these uh, power and efficiency figures. So right here, you can see that for the spec int 06, the X2 big cores in the A plus Gen 1 uh, is the fastest single core in any Android SoC right now. So it's about 8% faster than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and uh, it's actually 28% more efficient. You can follow my Twitter or you can pause the video if you want to view the detailed results. And then for the A710 middle cores, right, uh, we also see a very good improvement, both for performance and efficiency. The middle cores are 12% faster and at the same time 60% more efficient compared to those in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, right? So actually most of the smartphones uh, will handle your daily task on this middle cross instead of the huge X2 core, right? Because these are more efficient and for battery life considerations, they will try to utilize this more. So the 60% uh, jump in energy efficiency is really, really good. And because of this, I think the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 devices should be able to deliver much better battery life compared to previous devices, right? So I'm really looking forward to that. Moving on to GPU, so actually the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 had a pretty decent GPU. It was just a little bit too uh, power hungry. And we are happy to see Qualcomm actually resolving that issue here as well, right? So the GPU is a little bit faster, maybe 5 to 10% at its peak, uh, but it's also much more efficient, right? It's about 20%, 19, 20% more efficient. And in some tests, right, for example, this uh, GFX Bench Manhattan 3.1 test is actually both faster and more efficient than the GPU in the Apple A15. And I think this is quite an achievement. Apple SOCs uh, have been the golden standard, right? So now we have something from the Android world that is faster and more efficient than the Apple A15. So this is really exciting news for all Android users. And here are GPU results for some other tests. You can see that in the Aztec Vulcan test, it's also more efficient than the Apple A15, but the performance is almost the same. And then in this 3D mark, it's a little bit more efficient, but it's not as fast. But I think really Qualcomm has closed the gap. So the new 8 Plus Gen 1 GPU is just as good as, if not better than the Apple A15. Yeah, so that's all for today's test. And I think in conclusion, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is really a very solid Android flagship SoC we've all been waiting for for more than two years. Actually, since the Snapdragon 865, we haven't had such a good SoC for so long, right? So this is the new generation flagship Android SoC that we all deserve. And uh, for actual gaming performance, I've tested the Genshin Impact in my previous video. I'll has more games, but uh, I do believe the actual performance and efficiency and battery life will be very good, right? So my recommendation is that if you have been holding off uh, buying any flagship smartphones because of uh, the terrible Snapdragon 811 and uh, 888 maybe, then you can celebrate now because I think your next device can be a Snapdragon 8 Plus German device. I don't have any complaints for the performance or the efficiency, right? So this is the best Android SoC as of now. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for test videos on the latest smartphones and SoCs. Okay, see you next time.